Hey, what's going on world? It's everybody's favorite one-legged pogo stick. Kevin Rax here, you know, stage four cancer. They took my leg. My bad, I was supposed to update this every day, but as it turned out, things got pretty hectic after my discharge. Um, for those who care, I am doing well. Um, I'm removed from the surgery by just about 16 days. I go Monday and they're going to uh, remove most of the staples because what they won't exactly tell you is that you're not gonna heal at the same rate everywhere and some places or particular uh, problem healing places. But with my journey with cancer, this has been nothing new. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of my story today. So, I mean, pretty much me, I had seen a doctor uh, about a very small uh, grape-sized lump in the back of my leg. And uh, doctor had an MRI and the MRI suggested it was benign. I being, you know, an idiot, what do I know about cancer? I've never heard sarcoma. I go, okay, it's all good. Um, and, you know, he watches it grow month by month from 10 centimeters to 15 to 20 to 25. He goes ahead with the surgery anyway. Um, medical science would suggest that it's not very good for an untrained surgeon to open up a large tumor. Um, I'm not really allowed to say much more due to litigation that is currently pending with regards to that. Um, after that, I did chemotherapy. I was put on something called uh, doxorubicin and ifosamide, part of the MAID regimen. I did this at the John Thur Cancer Center at Hackensack. Um, I didn't have a lot of side effects. I lost all my hair. Unfortunately, it did not stop my tumors. And, uh, you know, I moved on to radiation, did about 28 days of that. I mean, pretty much you feel like an egg by like day 14, you go in, they cook you, you know, you hope you don't melt too much and, uh, you know, you keep on trucking. I got through it pretty good. Um, the sad part is that really cancer is a lot of guesswork and they do a lot of guessing and really nobody knows what's going to work or not going to work. Some things are really bad ideas, but they may recommend them anyway. Really, you have to be your own advocate. It's the most important thing. And me, I'm, you know, young and uh, you're fairly aggressive about protecting my interests. So, you know, I check and double check and get a second opinion for everything. Um, as far as awareness from what I was saying before is if you have any lump in your arms or legs and that lump is growing, you get that biopsy no matter what the doctor says. Cause again, it's a lot of guesswork in cancer. And if the doctor is not specialized in cancer, that really, you know, they don't know what they're talking about. I'll be honest. My guy said it was the only one he had ever seen in 25 years of his career. Um, you know, and, uh, I believe him. Um, a lot of, a lot of practitioners will miss a sarcoma. There's plenty of other kinds of cancer out there. And really you folks need to advocate for yourself too, because at the end of the day, it's all a, a big chess game between what might work, what could work, what's going to generate the most profit, the insurance companies. Um, I'm not saying there's a conspiracy out there. The system is broken. And, you know, when you play a game in a system that's broken, obviously you're going to catch some jagged edges here and there. So, um, you know, I just wanted to check in and, uh, you know, let, let everybody know. Um, I am seeking to become one of New Jersey's first residents to be able to use the right to die law that was signed by Governor Murphy earlier this month. Unfortunately, it doesn't start until August 1st. So I don't know if I'll make it, but, you know, I hope I hope to be one of the first. And um, I'm sure it's not going to be easy treading because, you know, nothing has been. Um, you know, I've had three surgeries, uh, 10 cycles of chemo. They radiated me and then they re-irradiated me into my entire leg melted off, basically, resulting in this amputation. And these are the best doctors in the world who are making these recommendations. Um, so really, you got to you gotta make your own decisions. You got to do the research and you got to get into the literature. Um, 
you know, I'm happy to discuss anything to do with sarcoma because I'm not an expert in cancer, but I have become an expert in sarcoma, specifically what they call undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma, which is my diagnosis. Unfortunately, what I have is, well, it's pretty aggressive. It's Wolverine and the Incredible Hulk on steroids. So, you know, my prognosis is worse maybe than most of anybody who's watching this video might be. But um, I want to become the face of the movement. I deserve a dignified death. I've been through enough. I've sacrificed. I've given my leg. I don't know what else they could possibly want from me. Um, this law is designed for people like me, but because I'm young, I'm going to meet resistance. So the only thing you can do when you meet resistance is provide resistance back. And, you know, I've done my research to see which doctors spoke at the hearings and will support this. If you're a doctor and, you know, you support death with dignity here in New Jersey, please feel free to reach out and contact me. Um, again, I'd like to become the face of the death with dignity movement here in, in New Jersey, if I can, because right now you look at me and I don't look like I'm dying. I want to rob cancer of its prize. I'd like to steal the wasting and the worst of it away from cancer and take control of my own life because as an entrepreneur, as a company owner, uh, as a former poker pro, as a former poker club owner, I've always paved my own way. I've always been a leader and I deserve the right to still be a leader and still choose how things are going to happen to this day. So, um, you know, it's been 10 days and um, it'll be about 17, excuse me, it's been 17 days. It'll be about 21 when they remove the batch of staples. I'll check back in. I'm sure that's going to be absolutely miserable. It's going to be so bad. But I got to do what I got to do. And uh, I'm going to see how I hold together after that. And I'm hoping to get back out on the circuit and start raising awareness again and talking to people about sarcoma. And, uh, you know, so far in my life, I caught one. Uh, and the person emailed me and let me know that, uh, you know, their daughter had a lump that doubled in size that the doctor ignored and they had it biopsied. And luckily it was low grade, but my, you know, actions going out, playing poker, wearing my, my gear that talks about sarcoma and just being open and willing to talk to people, you know, it may have saved a life. And so it was worth it. And, um, these videos, and sharing, you know, this terrible thing I'm going through with the world. I mean, they're worth it too, because if you didn't know what sarcoma is before the video, and now you did, well, then I've won a little bit. And uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And that's all I got to say about that. So uh, I don't got too much else to say for now. Um, feel free to hit me up. I seen the guy in the comments who's about to get his leg removed. I'm going to hit you up now. Feel free to hit me up uh, through YouTube. Um, you can get me on Gmail at failhard123 at gmail.com because we, we don't go easy. Um, I'm on hospice now, but I'm definitely considering coming off if I heal up in two or three weeks and uh, continuing to fight a little. I mean, I'm basically out of lines, but there's some experimental stuff I haven't tried. There's some procedures that could extend me that I've done already that were successful that I hope to do again that my hospice is not allowing again there's so much bullshit involved with insurance and like I can't even get my proper medication right now even when I offer to pay for it out of my pocket which I quite honestly I can't afford to do hospice was also nice enough to come here and let me know that I have to make my own arrangements for my body to get picked up when I die so that they can cremate me and then FedEx me back to my family. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty raw, but I'm willing and I'll talk about it. I'll talk about the things that other people won't. Um, I'm not shy. As I make these videos, you're going to hear my whole story, the story of my life, the story of my diagnosis, and the story of what has been some pretty questionable medical decisions that really are made with impunity because cancer is considered to be an inexact science. So, uh, you know, again, I don't want this video to get too long. Everybody be safe. 
If you or anybody you know has a lump in your arms or your legs and you feel it and it's getting bigger or it's causing pain, don't take no for an answer. Get that biopsy. All right, man. Cancer Kevin, Kevin Rex, I'm out for now. I'll see you soon, people.